Hi, everybody. Charles with GMAT Ninja here with your GMAT Club Quant question of the day. If you've never seen this question before, please hit the pause button, give this question a try on your own, and for everybody else, stick with us. Okay, this is a pretty tough data sufficiency question, in my opinion. So we've got three vertices on the coordinate plane. One is at 5, 1. We've got a nice right angle created because we know one of those points is also at x coordinate of 5. Uh, with the y coordinate of y, we know y is bigger than 1, so we're go going straight vertical, vertical line there. We know we've got a horizontal line here, 5, 1 at the, the vertex right there, x, 1 over there. We just want to know what's the area of the triangle. Not a bad idea here to go down an algebraic road. Again, on data sufficiency, you always want to push the question as far as it'll go. Rewrite that question as many equivalent ways as you can. If you've never heard me say that before, check out some of our data sufficiency videos here on the GMAT Club YouTube channel. In this case, what makes sense to say is that, well, this side has to be y minus 1. This side over here has to be 5 minus x. So about the area of that triangle, we want y minus 1 times 5 minus x technically over two, but in reality, it's data sufficiency. I don't really give a crap about that two. There's no mystery there. So I'm really looking for y minus one times five minus x. All right, statement one, x is equal to y. A couple different ways you can go about this. If we're rolling with the algebra, what we can say here is we can just uh, take this part and say, well, y minus one. I'm going to go ahead and substitute the y in for the x times five minus y. Is that going to give me a value? Obviously, it's not. I'm still going to have a y hanging out in there. So there's no way to be able to get the area out of that. If you're not convinced by that, you can try picking a couple numbers there. I don't love doing that on data sufficiency, um, but that is a different road you could go down. In either case, A is not sufficient. We can cross that out. Statement two says that these two angles, that those two vertices are equal. So what that's telling us is we've got a 45, 45, 90 triangle or an isosceles triangle. That's fantastic. But do we know anything about the actual lengths of those sides enough to get the area there's no way we can really know that here by itself, so I can cross out B. Now, putting them together, what does that do for us? Now what we're saying is not only is X equal to Y, we also know that Y minus 1 has to be equal to 5 minus X, and I suppose I don't really need those parentheses there. And you also know that X equals Y. Easy, easy, easy to solve this. You're going to get an answer of X is equal to 3, and Y is equal to 3. And then that tells you that you've got sides of two and two. Easy enough to calculate the area from there. So our answer is C. That's it for today. Thank you again for joining us. I'm Charles from GMAT Ninja. And hit that subscribe button. Thank you, everybody.